every part of the rim. And here comes Love. Pushing the pace for the heels. Finds the open Davis. That shot was blocked. Sholin got a piece of it. How about the effort by Sholin to stay in the play and get a tip on that basketball? And there, just a little jab. Defender gets off you. Knock it down from the perimeter. Sholin inside draws the contact. After back-to-back three-point baskets, a chance at a three-point play. The only criticism that you can really have of Carolina's first half is on this side of the floor. Pete Nance getting blown by Armando Baycott coming over. It's a strong drive by Christian Sholin. Give the Portland Pilots a lot of credit. Armando Baycott, a rebounding machine. Goes to the bench with two fouls, with four points and just three rebounds, none of them on the offensive glass. At 23 on Sunday, it's a two point lead as Sholin converts a three point play. He does have four assists, though. He's an interesting guy because he can make plays off pick and roll and also post. And oh. how about the bank is open? <laughs> Sholin again, North Carolina just not tracking these shooters coming off screens. Now eight for 17 from three for Portland. Scholle, the red shirt junior from Norway, puts Portland back into the lead. They try to feed St. Pierre. Nance has been holding up in the post. Scholle from deep, and Portland launches itself back in front. On another three-pointer, the Pilots 11th. I was just thinking, boy, the, the Carolina defense has been much sharper the last couple possessions, but Armando Baycott, you're just not used to guarding guys like that out there on the perimeter. You let Sholin get free. He can really shoot it from downtown. Done off the bench, ran into a brick wall of St. Pierre. Right, but Armando Baycott, you cannot lose track of Christian Sholin. Guy who started this season out hot, first three games, averaged 16 points a game. Got to keep track of him. Pete Nance doing a better job on that under out of bounds. Short as we look at the Portland starting five, Tyler Robertson, their scoring and assist leader. All 13 of his points in the second half yesterday. Perry, Wood, Sholin, and St. Pierre. Five transfers in the Pilots starting five. There is Sholin, a good three-point shooter. And Portland starts much where it ended yesterday after a season high 12 threes. It's a triple for the redshirt junior Sholin. That looked a lot like what we saw yesterday from Portland. North Carolina got caught going removed on so many screens off the ball. That time you go under the screen on Sholin, he is looking to let it fly from downtown, and he does just that. Well, they'll start their way. Those lead guards just got to play better. Sholin rips down a missed three by Dixon. The advantage will go to Villanova on the interior. Duca drops it off to Sholin, playing inside the paint and elevating over Daniels. An early five for Christian Sholin. He's a very capable scorer. The first three games of the year, Sholin was averaging 16 a game. The last, next four, he's kind of come back to earth a little bit, but he can shoot it from the perimeter. He can drive it. He can post you. He's got good size, and they're showing off the ability on the interior. A jumper for Sholin. That's tough. 2-3 had kept the ball on the perimeter. Dix did a nice job denying to the high post, but that's just tough offense. Christian Sholin showing off the ability to make plays off the bounce. Sholin with a three! Back-to-back -back possessions with a jumper for Christian Sholin. 11 points for the Norwegian junior. And Portland, which had the lead cut to 12, is back up 17 been more of what Portland saw from Christian Sholin through the first three games. He has been aggressive. They've scored on around half of their possessions. A little bit more now. Sholin strong to the rack. Christian Sholin is taking this game over. Christian Sholin showing off just what kind of score he can be. He can get to the mid-range. He can shoot it from three. Now getting all the way to the rim. He's on his own 7-0 run. Can make it 8-0 here. Desperate times calling for Brandon Slater's return with four fouls. 12-15 to go, and there is another point for Schultz and eight straight for him. Georgia Tech, UTEP, never really found a home until he got to this coaching staff, and they clicked with his personality. Christian Sholin showing off that jumper, showing off the 
scoring ability. Here's the fadeaway. A tough shot when nothing was going on that 2-3 zone possession. The ability to knock down shots from three. But he can get to the rim, too. Christian Scholin showing out here in Portland. This is end-to-end -end thrilling action. 39 goals in senior year. Set a record for Portland. Right now we're basketball school. Christian Scholand off the bench. Rattles in the sixth Portland three. Two nights ago, we saw Scholand have a terrific game against Villanova. 14 points, knocked out a couple threes. It's a quality one there. Porter got good position again. He got pushed, and there was no foul, much to the dismay of the Spartan bench. Christian Scholin out to Garcia. Big shooter. Big shot. He had two defenders draped on him, and Garcia oh. trailing into the play. That initial surge off the bounce by Christian Scholin set the table for Juanse Garcia. Just a great drive and an even better find. Jackson Kohler coming down and in transition. Scholin's going to come back in. Another shooter on the floor. Wood. Over fumbled by Brooks. Look at a back to Wood. Trying to get him free. It'll be Scholin quickly. Oh, in and out and in and out. And there and back again. Four point game. Such a tough guard because both Wood and Scholl can shoot and now a turnover. A steal for Robertson. Applewhite. Wood. Wood. Wow. Scholl. Oh! <laughs> it is showtime. Turnover. This is pretty unbelievable stuff. You have two on the basketball. You find Christian Scholl. He gets the roll. Scholin, he gets the roll, and then the turnover again. This has been Michigan State's crutch for so many years now. And the look that Scholin gets, they don't panic. They drop it off the drive by Moses when Sissoko just doesn't recognize who he's guarding. And just like that, six straight points to get toward the right back. Seconds. They've got full Reggie Miller. <laughs> this happened to Michigan State on Friday, remember? And they're going to have to seal it after a furious comeback again. The crazy thing is, is this run was so fast that Portland can play this possession now. They don't even have to foul. Would you play it out? I would. I'd show my pressure that they, they played with, but I. Back to Walker. Been their closer so often. So it'll be Portland ball down by one, 8.1 seconds to go. It's the Eric pass on the out of bounds underneath. And now the three pointers start falling. Michigan State had done such a good job of keeping these shooters in check in the second half. This has changed a dime. And all of a sudden, now Portland has possession and an opportunity to win the game on the last possession here. 76-64 Michigan State about three minutes ago. A 13-2 Portland run over the last two minutes and 52 seconds. An 8-0 run in the last 62 seconds. The Portland Pilots are trying to knock off a ranked team for the first time.
since January 9, 2014, nine seasons ago, when they defeated number 18, Gonzaga, right here at Child Center. Well, first, let me say that uh, really uh, impressed with Portland. Um, we were impressed with them on film. For those of you that are from there, I guess millions will miss the press conference, but those of you that were and, and their fans, I would tell them that I would have showed up because uh, they got an exciting team. They play hard. They play well. They're well coached. Um, they do a lot of good things. They can shoot the ball. They're fun to watch. So I think there's a lot of positives there, which we knew would make our game a dogfight.